Students, in this video, I will discuss some things about Kandizaro reaction. Because to know organic part in your board as well as competitives, you have to go through very in detail and know the mechanism about the name reactions. So, one of the main important name reaction is Kandizaro. I will discuss the others on my later video. Okay. So, let's start. Kandizaro reaction. In Kandizaro reaction, we can see that those aldehydes will respond which does not contain any types of alpha hydrogens. Okay. Like formaldehyde. Formaldehyde, we know it is HCHO. Another HCHO molecule we should take. Okay. And if we give here 50% any base NaOH or KOH, then one molecule of this formaldehyde will be reduced like this and it will form you know methanol because as formaldehyde has one carbon so when it will be reduced then it will form one carbon containing alcohol so it will form ethan, methan and the another portion will be oxidized to its acid salt no formic acid because here NaOH is there so if KOH is given then potassium format will be our product if sodium hydroxide is given then sodium format will be our product so the main rule or without mechanism the trick is one molecule of any aldehyde will be reduced and another molecule of any aldehyde will be oxidized now to know this we need to know the mechanism of this reaction what is the mechanism of this reaction okay so here OH minus acts as nucleophile why nucleophile because here no alpha hydrogens are there this is functional carbon we know because from this carbon we know that it is an aldehyde group so the carbon atom which is attached to the functional group that is known as alpha carbon so there is no alpha carbon so no alpha hydrogen is there so when OH minus is present in the medium then it will directly attack as nucleophile so it will attack to the electrophilic carbon and thereby this oxygen atom becomes negatively charged And the structure becomes like this is it clear now the second step is there are another formaldehyde molecule so we know that the carbon oxygen bond strength is very much higher so when O minus attack back bonds to this carbon then one of the hydride shift occurs like this one of the hydride shift occurs and the product becomes this is formic acid HC double bond OH and here the product becomes CH3O minus. So here this minus will not be on the oxygen atom no more. So it will take the hydrogens from this and the product form that is HCO O minus and Na plus ions will be there from NaOH and the product will be your methanol so this is the mechanism of Kandizaro how formaldehyde will produce sodium format and methanol so similarly we can also see the product or also predict the product when we will add 50% NOH or KOH in case of benzaldehyde so benzaldehyde will produce what benzaldehyde will definitely produce as it does not contain any it has alpha carbons but it does not have any alpha hydrogen because this carbon atom has fulfilled its four hands so it will form one molecule will be reduced benzyl alcohol and another molecule will be oxidized to sodium benzoate the mechanism is also like our previous one but the problem is that when question comes like formaldehyde and benzaldehyde 
and 50% NaOH is given, then which molecule will be oxidized and which molecule will be reduced? Because here two molecules are different. So this is very important question that for the prediction that which molecule will be oxidized and which one will be reduced. So the trick is here the molecule which is smaller than the other that portion will be oxidized. So here sodium formate will be the answer and not only that the larger one will be reduced from benzaldehyde to benzyl alcohol. This is the trick to answer the questions in short without doing the mechanism. But the original reason is here OH minus is acting as nucleophile. So formaldehyde why it is to be oxidized and benzaldehyde why it is to be reduced because in case of benzaldehyde CHO group has minus R effect we know this effect minus R effect because it reduces the electron density from benzene ring or due to this oxygen atom we know that between carbon and oxygen oxygen is more electronegative so carbon atom will have a partial positive charge and that partial positive charge will be quite neutralized by this benzene ring so the partial positive charge is less in this carbon as compared to the carbonyl carbon of formaldehyde so OH minus does not have a tendency to attack to this carbon when formaldehyde is already present that is why OH minus ion will attack to this carbon and then hydride shift occurs and it will move like this so this portion will form formic acid and this portion will like this so the next step is that by this benzyl alcohol will be formed and sodium formate will be there so this is the original reason and the trick I have already told you earlier that smaller one will be always oxidized and the larger one will be always reduced now come to the intramolecular candesaro part that example is most common example that is glyoxal if we take the structure of glyoxal then we will see that this is ethan 1,2 diol or market name is glyoxal when 50% NOH is there or 50% KOH is there then the product will be one molecule is getting reduced and another molecule is getting oxidized one molecule is getting oxidized here and another molecule will be reduced here and if we want to see the mechanism then the mechanism will be like this that is glyoxal is there so OH minus can attack to any carbon these and these carbons are equivalent so if it attacks to this then hydride shift occurs and the O minus will form that is why the bond is formed like this and this O minus will no more be O minus and it will take the H plus from the above portion. So the sodium benzoate occur and the benzyl and the another portion will form the alcoholic part. And the next question that is very much important for your joint purpose that is if the structure is like this like this and 50% NOH or KOH is there then what will be our product then we need to think we need to apply the trick that between this and this which one is smaller this portion is smaller so that portion will be oxidized and if we follow the trick that OH minus will come to that carbon where the availability of partial positive charge will be more this carbon is partial positively charged due to this oxygen this carbon is also partial positive charge due to this oxygen but this partial positive charge which is developed to this oxygen 
is quite neutralized by the plasar effect of the benzene ring. That is why OH minus will attack to this carbon and hydrogen shift occurs from this. So the product will be your this one. It is your sodium mandalate. If one hydrogen is there, then it is mandalic acid. And if that hydrogen is replaced by sodium, then it is sodium mandalate. So I think now this video, after watching this video, you can solve any question related can measure. Thank you so much and for more detail please subscribe.